Everyone actually, all of you, have an impact on the people in the world around you. And whether or not you know it, like as soon as you walk into the room, you're creating some kind of an impact. Some of us have an energy about us that can create a change in the room. Some of us might inject some electricity into the room. Some of us might walk into a room and everyone just kind of feels ah, kind of relaxed or safe. Other people actually might make you want to dance. What's really interesting though with, with impact is that as a leader, your impact is, it's almost on steroids. Just like actually the impact of, like motorcycling creates an emotional reaction to probably almost anyone, whether it's good or it's bad. When some people think about motorcycling, they might think about, oh, I, you know, the cool helmet, or I get to wear the great looking boots, um, or I get to carry the keychain, or they sometimes think about emergency rooms, or death. It's all kind of different, but it's all very emotional. It's all very heightened, that reaction. It's the same thing with leaders and impact. Most leaders are underestimate the impact that they have on other people. It's just something that they don't really fully capture or fully understand, but it's there. It's like motorcycles. You put someone on a motorcycle, you put motorcycle gear on them and their impact changes. So you've got to be aware of that. You've got to be aware of that impact that you have on other people. As a leader, whenever we take some kind of an action or we do something, we create either an intended impact, what we wanted, or we create an unintended impact. When it's an intended impact, it's like, great, this is what I wanted. Excellent, keep going, leverage that. But when you create an unintended impact, well then, you've got to stop and you can actually look. Like, is this, is this what I wanted? Is this okay? Have I created a problem? Have I created some kind of a mess? Have I interfered some way in the relationship that I have with my people? And if there is a mess, you've got to clean it up. As a leader, you've got to clean up. You have to take responsibility for it. The conference was very good. I was very inspired and uh, interested by what Michael was saying. And uh, I think Michael is a very comforting person and looks very confident. So as a manager, I think that uh, for professionals, um, for uh, key issues that you might have, or to have the strength to go over some difficult maybe uh, problems that we have, uh, it's very uh, it's very helpful. So thank you, Michael, and I wish you good luck. Hi there. I came to this conference with zero expectations. I uh, didn't really know what it was going to be about, and I'm leaving um, totally blown away. Uh, in a short amount of time, Mike was able to actually pinpoint an area that I'm having an issue with, and uh, now I'm going to go back to work and uh, work on that. So, Mike. Thanks a lot. Uh, I think Mike is fabulous. I think he did a wonderful speech, uh, giving very concrete examples that I can definitely apply in my day-to-day -day personal and professional life. So thank you, Mike, for that. Yes, yeah, so Michael's uh, conference today was so enlightening. For me, he shared his personal experiences through comical you know, ways of his to explain to us what leadership is about through three concepts that were clearly defined and explained to us. And it made me realize, you know, where, what's my impact in my life as a, as a colleague, as a, a role model, as a mother, as a, you know, a friend in my life. So yeah, go for it. It's an experience to be had. As a coach, I go to a lot of conferences, but I have to say that this one really stood out mainly because of Michael's personality. He's so down to earth and when he talks, you just want to listen and grasp everything he's saying because he really has a unique way of connecting with the audience and not only is he really human and empathetic but he has really great coaching points and he describes them in a way that you can really relate to no matter where you are in life and the situation you're in so yes I definitely recommend that you check out one of Mike's conferences. So yes Mike Wallace, uh, Mike is a great guy that I had the chance to work with uh, a few years ago and what I like about Mike is that he's uh, someone that listens and uh, you know, is, is adaptable. So we'll uh, customize things for you and uh, is always delivered uh, what he was asked to deliver. So that's a pleasure to work with. I wish him the best uh, with his new book. And uh, if you have the chance to work with Mike, uh, you won't regret it. Bravo, Michael. All the best.